Hi Bruce from Safari and look, uh, this is the LC79, the first production one that we've had with Scotty AI and meet Michael Nielsen here. Afternoon. Yeah, how are you Michael? <laughs> and you've been out here now about a month, haven't you? Yeah, about a month since you got Scotty AI. And you had before that the original Scotty version one for yep. what, 18 months, two years? Yep, correct, about, yep. Yeah, about 18 months. 18 months or so yep. and tell us what's the difference? A lot, big difference. I know, very, very happy with the Scotty AI. It's, um, yeah, I just find the consistency in the power system and the power plan is just, oh yeah, I can't even compare the two of them from just a little, little bit of driving here and there to the state of charge and how it replenishes the batteries. Yeah, absolute game changer, massive. So, was it, yeah, I just found little things with the Scotty, original Scotty, just like the lights that you're aware of, the flickering, just trying, yeah. Yeah, trying to suck the power incorrectly, whereas this sort of, finding its own voltage and what it needs and you know, get no flickering any of the lights, it's all pristine, there's no concern there. The state of charge, how how quickly it puts power back in, I'm getting the full output of the alternator now, so the high voltage alternator, I'm getting massive charge in, so much so that sometimes I was getting a bit nervous or so much power going in, but yeah, now I get the system down to 60% and within, oh, it feels like half an hour driving, it's back up to 100%, like I can't believe how quick the power's getting back into it all, so. That's great. Yeah, no faults with it, no, yeah, <laughs> no complaints with it at great. all. Now, just tell us about your setup here. You've got the fridge at the back here. You've got the slide, and that's for your outboard. Yeah, a little bit temporary at the moment. You can see all the kids' footy gear and water bottles and surfboards and the rest of it in there. <laughs> yeah, we but, can um, see that. We, we put the power plant in the truck. We wanted to put the power plant in here and not the caravan. So the idea is that we, we can leave the caravan unhitched for a week or so, and we use the truck as a day-to-day -day sort of run around. And we just recently went camping. We left, left the van unhitched for about a week and we're doing surf trips out and about each day and each day I was charging up the van and then, the, sorry, the car, then going back and plugging in the van for night and charging back up the batteries in the van because there'd be no, it was pretty cloudy weather that week. So um, the van's power plant wasn't keeping up but I was just piggybacking power off this for the whole trip and yeah, I couldn't couldn't fault it. So every time I went back, by the, within an hour or two, the van was charged back up for the next night and then yeah, each day of driving this was charging back up. So. Yeah, happy with how we we'll set it up. Um, the idea is we can just unhook the van to the car and we can go whatever we want and take our power, coffee machine, the cooking, <laughs> take the whole it all with us. Yeah, very good. The perks. Very, very yeah. good. And we'll give a shout out to Andrew here at Espresso 79. He did the install in this vehicle. So nicely done, Andrew. And the power loss watts on this Andrew is the lowest we have seen. So that's uh, congrats to him. And Michael, thank you very much for participating in this. No worries. How good's that? Yeah, how good's that? <laughs> Cheers.